Hi Aquarius, it is CJ from CJ Soul Messages. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your April 2022 general reading. This can apply to your sun, your moon, your rising, and of course Venus, as well as anyone that's a cross watcher out there checking in on what's going on with Aquarius. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support. It means a lot to me. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a great month. There's a lot of change happening this month. I feel on a collective level, even we have, we have a new moon in April, um, April 1st in Aries, and then we're going to have a full moon in Libra on April 16th. So it feels like this month is going to be more about like putting yourself out there, putting yourself first, as far as like the, the Aries energy, uh, the I am kind of energy. And then with Libra showing up on the 16th, it's like, there's going to be this full moon of awakening, clarity, illumination of truths, justice, balance getting brought back in. Um, so really, really kind of a powerful change. And this is the new beginning of the new astrology year, right? Starting with Aries. So kind of a perfect time to actually remove things that don't don't serve us anymore and also for things to start to get balanced out all right so let's begin i'm going to get you one animal oracle card to start with all right let's get one card for aquarius for april 2022 please april 2022 for aquarius and please remember to like and subscribe leave me a comment if this reading resonates with you and also remember of course Aquarius it may not be your reading so if it doesn't work for you doesn't make any sense it's just not your reading okay the card that has come out is chameleon change big change that's what I was just talking about I feel like this month is gonna be it's gonna be a big one for the majority of the signs but definitely things are happening um, Wow and on the bottom of the deck you have polar bear and this speaks of the energy of ancestors. Uh, ancestors, take that how it would resonate with you, but there could be some change as far as a family situation. Because, you know, if this feels like there's a shift going on um, and you may need to be very adaptable this month. Um, and allow yourself to be flexible is what I'm really kind of picking up on. Polar bear, when we think about bears, you know, they're very strong, powerful, magnificent animals. Um, but, you know, I just want to put this down for a second. But there may be something here that is connected not only to your, like your family that are still living, you know, um, but it could even go back to something that is passed down through the generations is what I'm feeling here. Um, I don't know what that is yet, but it could be something that has um, passed down and perhaps it hasn't been a very healthy thing that has gotten passed down and it is needing to be changed. That will be for some of you. Bottom of the deck, we do have the jackal and this is about truth. So I'm gonna pull this out and keep it out too because I do feel there's something about this truth that is needing to be said, expressed, shown, something. Something needs to be illuminated here this month. Okay, let me get a moonology and then we'll get into the tarot. Huh, very interesting. Okay, let's get a card for Aquarius for April 2022. What's this truth and change and ancestors? What is happening? One card, Aquarius, April 2022, please. I like this one. Show the world the real you. Huh. And what do you need to release? Okay, see, this is kind of what I'm feeling here. Let me put that actually right by the jackal. I'll move the cards, hopefully you can see them. And what do you need to release? See, that's what I was picking up, that there might be something here that has been passed down through generations. Look, um, we all have things that are passed down through all the generations. Some really wonderful, some things aren't so wonderful, you know? Sometimes we 
things are hereditary and they, they can, um, they can affect us in a way that actually might not be positive. But there is this feeling of showing the world the real you. That is a full moon in Aquarius. This is your card coming out here. So Aquarius, and then right beside that with the Jackal, the truth, I was pulled to, to actually really take that card for you because it feels like there's something that isn't really being, there's some something that is hidden, something that is, perhaps the whole truth has not been seen yet or has not been expressed. Uh, hmm. But there's obviously something that is needing to be released. And is it connected to something from your family, something that is connected to your bloodlines here? Um, let's get into the tarot, okay? Let's just start on the tarot and see what what messages are coming up for you. Feels like there's going to be a massive change, though. And evidently, obviously, with, you know, chameleon, it is about change. But it, it feels... Like almost like you're letting go of a certain way of being, a certain way of thinking. Um, hmm. All right, this is interesting. Let's continue. Let's get three cards for Aquarius for April 2022. What is happening for Aquarius? Three of Swords. Okay. I feel like that's extra energy here, so I'm going to set it to the side. Okay, this is what I'm feeling. There's something, I don't know why, I keep feeling like someone you know, Aquarius, has got some kind of um, an addiction problem. I mean, I've been feeling that right from the very start. I'm not saying it's you. I'm saying that there is some kind of connection, something that is not healthy, that has been passed down, perhaps. For, for some of you, it is, perhaps you have family member, grandparent, parent, something like that that may have some kind of addiction and it has broken your heart there's been pain attached to this situation and this is maybe what you are needing to really release um there may be this energy where you've been trying to fix it fix them help them um And if that's the case, it, it almost feels like spirit is telling you that this is now the time that you are going to need to release that and focus on you and be really who you are. Hmm. Very interesting. This is a, going to be a deep one. I can feel it. All right. We need three cards. This one was this. Huh. Four of Swords is just flipped out. So, judgment on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to start with this. I'm going to leave it just like this. Something has been going on. There's someone in your life, Aquarius, that I feel like you have been trying to help. It could be you that is has some kind of... Um, there's something that is maybe not very positive for you that you might have been holding on to. Um, perhaps you have an addiction. doesn't have to be. I mean, look, we're all people. You know, we all have our vice, vices. So no judgment here. I never just love from me to you here. But there's something connected with a family member, something to do with your family. So if this is not you, it is someone that you are dealing with that has some kind of a problem. Um, it could even be a mental problem. It doesn't even have to be addiction because uh, I'm really kind of picking that up. And I feel that if this, I'm going to read it that way, okay? Um, and if this is your situation, you're going to know where to place the energies. But it's like, I feel like you have tried for a long time to help this person, to help them um, get better, to heal, to um, let go of the addictions or the toxic thinking or or to help them if there's a mental issue going on, physical mental issue going on, um, but it is worn you down. And you have, all, it has almost changed who you are, Aquarius, um, this situation. Man, it could even be, you know, the most, like abuse, 
could be abuse, something like that that has been passed down and you've carried it with you and perhaps you've tried to help this person, perhaps, or perhaps you have carried the pain of the hurt that has been done, the disappointment, um, you know, the heartbreak because the Three of Swords is showing up here. And I feel like it's time that this truth kind of comes out the truth of that you cannot change that situation. You cannot change that person. The only thing that you can do is change how you participate in that energy. And I do feel like they're asking you to release it. So to release the pain, maybe even for some of you to release that person if they're still in your life. But there's something that has kept you st stuck, kept you kept you from being the real you, from really showing who you really truly are. But they're saying here, it is time for you to show the world the real you. This is full moon in Aquarius, so this is extra powerful that this came out. And expect change and, and allow things to change with the chameleon. You know, the chameleon is all about, um, when you think about a chameleon, it's like they blend into everything, right? So if they're on a tree bark that's brown, they turn brown, right? If they fit in all the time. I actually am picking up that that might have been how you've been feeling. Like you've been, like you pretend that you're okay. You pretend you're not angry, something like that. Um, but it is now time for you to release that and allow the change to happen where you actually are going to be your truthful, beautiful self. And you are going to allow yourself to speak your truth. And when you do that, that allows you to really actually embody the whole beautiful self of you after some major pain. Because it just really, this is heavy. I'm picking up on the Three of Swords energy. And it feels not like, this doesn't feel romantic to me. This, although I guess for some of you guys it could, but that's not the energy that they're giving me. This is more of a family situation, I feel. And you are going to need some time to uh, recuperate and to rest and recover from the pain because Four of Swords is just that. It is taking that time out to heal, to heal and allow yourself to release, to release the pain of it all. Judgment, bottom of the deck. Judgment is like, this is a higher force energy behind this reading, um, well, as always, but when judgment comes out and the energy that they're giving me here, Aquarius, it's like you're going to be freed from the, the pain. You are going to rise up af out of the ashes from the pain after you take some time out. And I also feel like it's not only divinely orchestrated for you, I also feel like this is representing that once you make this change, once you speak your truth, and once you release what is not yours to carry, um, things never go back to the way that they were. Like I feel like you get freedom from this. Very, very deep, very deep. King of coins underneath the judgment. I just want to take a moment here. So king of coins, page of coins, 10 of coins. It's like you get your self-confidence back. You also get your stability back. You get your happiness back. I almost want to feel. Okay, so this may not resonate with a lot of Aquariuses out there. This might be very specific to a handful but it is it's needed to get out there so um if you're still sticking around it's obviously you're understanding this reading and like i said you know your story you know your life so take the energy where it applies i'm just have to pick it up pick up from what i'm getting here the downloads and the information that they're giving me and the energy that i'm feeling and i feel quite somber in my energy right now okay I do, though, want to say I feel like it changes for the better for you. Like you're going to just be lighter once you're able to release this pain that I do feel like was caused by someone that is in your family, family line, something. <clears throat> I mean, hmm. okay, let's get some clarifiers. Let's get some more information for Aquarius for A April. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> April 2022, please. 
What else can you tell me about this reading for Aquarius? What can you tell me? What else does Aquarius need to know here? Okay, Chariot, wow. You see, beautiful. This is Cancer, Cancer's card. Um, this is you really getting in the driver's seat of your life again. Also, victory. I feel like releasing this and actually owning your truth and allowing the change to come through and really cutting out this pain and baggage, um, you just are back in control of your life and it feels very good. Again, freeing. I keep hearing freeing. <coughs> For some of you, <clears throat> it possibly could be a lover that you've been involved with that is toxic. I, the ancestor part though is is that's why I'm not feeling like it is very much about romance, but it could be, um, you know. Hmm. Could be. It could be. Gemini's card. That's on the bottom of the deck. Um, it could be a love partner that has been really, has done some horrible things to you. And you need to release them. And, you know. Maybe this is meaning that your ancestors are around you protecting you. Or maybe it is a cycle. Okay. <clears throat> maybe it is a cycle. For example, if you happen to be in some kind of a relationship that has been abusive and hurtful. Um, perhaps, you know, your mother or your father was in one. Perhaps your grandmother or grandfather was in it. Perhaps a sister or a brother was in the same. Do you see what I mean? But some kind of cycle here. So for some of you, yes, it could be definitely about um, a love relationship. I wasn't picking up on that. They weren't giving that to me, but now they've given it to me. So let's continue. What else needs to come out? Wow. Three of, three of pentacles, but it is in reverse. Upright, that means working together, really working hard, collaborating, trying to build something. But it's come out in reverse, indicating that you will not work on this anymore. It is done. It is done. And on the bottom of the deck, we've got your card, the star, Aquarius. Okay? The healing begins. The renewal of feeling hopeful and um, having peace in your life begins after this release. It's after this release that um, that, that happens. That you're back in the driver's seat of your life. You're no longer going to put the energy into trying to fix this person, fix this relationship, all of that. You're allowing the cycle to close out with the judgment card and you are going to get lots of healing here. I mean, you've shown up twice in this reading from two different decks. That's powerful. So I'm not going to go any further with this. I'm, I'm just feeling like it's a no, like they don't want me to go any further. I, I think if this is your message, you understand what I'm talking about and I'm not going to just keep rambling on here. Um, positive energy coming towards you. This change has to happen for you so that you can be freed and that you can move along your life path feeling healed and renewed in yourself and actually really showing yourself and the whole world who you truly are and all that beautiful magic that exists within you and no longer hiding it, allowing the truth to come out. And with that brings the change for you. Okay, I'm going to get you a card from Treasures from Takashi, and then I will close this reading out for you. It is absolutely beautiful. Good for you. If you are relating to this and you've been through something, it feels very, very toxic. It feels very heavy, um, like massively. Again, my heart goes to you. So much love to you. You're not, al you're not alone. I mean, I just, that sounds so silly, but just know that I am putting good vibes up for you and you're going to be successful in healing and feeling lighter and freer. Okay, let's get one card for our beautiful Aquarius. All right, one card, please. Aquarius, oh, okay. Consideration. Okay, and listening. Consideration has come out. Pay attention. 
Let nothing move past without your examination. Be reflective. Many special moments are unfolding for your attention. If you carefully look at what has brought you to this now moment, you will see how much of yourself deserves your loving consideration. Wow, how wonderful is that? Yeah, you deserve your loving consideration. You deserve to be your whole entire self. And you do not deserve to carry any pain, any abuse, any toxic shit that other people did. That is not for you to own. And I wish you so much healing in this process. We have listening on the bottom. Now is the time to listen to your intuition. Slow down and quiet the mind chatter. Listen to your own words and ensure you are using positive language. When you hear others, make sure you really listen to what is being said. And remember to listen to more than just the words. Listen to your world with your heart. Oh, that is so precious. Okay, there you have it. That is your reading. I hope it helps in some way. As I said, I wish you so much love, healing, and um, freedom. I just, I have to say that I wish you beautiful freedom and freedom to be exactly who you are. All right, Aquarius, much love. Take care.